What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning into Atolo Studios. Today I'm going to be showing you how to map the drum pads on your MIDI controller to the FPC in FL Studio. It's incredibly easy. Let's get started. Obviously first you want to have your controller plugged in and then you're going to go up to the options tab and click on MIDI settings. And we're just going to check that you have your controller enabled. Under input you'll see a list of whatever you have plugged in. Make sure the little green radio button is uh, green and not uh, grayed out. Once that's all set, you're going to go back to your FPC. And you're going to click this little down arrow and look for map notes for entire bank. We're going to click that. And now you're going to start on the bottom left of your controller. You're going to tap each pad in succession from left to right, bottom to top. Now if you're using a smaller controller like I have here and you only have a set of eight pads, you switch to pad bank two and repeat. And that will map you out to all 16 of the pads in the FPC. Now you can go ahead and switch between your instruments and maybe play some piano. And then uh, go back to your FPC and everything's lined up so you can play your beat. And it's that simple. After you've gone and mapped out the pads on your controller, click the down arrow again in FPC you can click to save your note layout. That way, in the future, every time you open up the FPC, you have the option to load your note layout, and everything will be pre-mapped for you. I hope that was helpful for somebody out there. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a message in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out atolostudios.com for more content. You can download beats, watch more videos. And if there's anything you'd like me to do a video about in the future, please let me know.